Today I'm gonna to show you how to make the Bramble Cocktail. The Bramble is a classic cocktail that doesn't get that much attention, but it's such a great drink, especially for the summertime, and it has everybody's favorite spirit, gin. Now I've left timestamps on the video, so if you wanna jump straight to the making of the cocktail, you can do so. But if you wanna stick around for the story of the Bramble and how it was created, stay tuned and don't go away. My name is Tom and I've been a bartender for 20 years, and on my videos I show you how to make sexy, tasty cocktails with ease. I show you the tips to make sure that you can recreate them yourself every single time. And I'll normally give you a little twist on the classic recipe so that you can stand out above the rest. So if you're new around here, hit subscribe and click the bell to switch on notifications and learn a new cocktail with me every single Tuesday. You can also join my Telegram group to be the first to know when my videos go live and get the latest scoop as to what is coming on my channel soon. I do have a secondary channel where I can teach you all the tricks of flair bartending. And if you wanna find out a bit more about that, I've left a link right there, it should be there. But today I'm gonna to show you how you can make the best Bramble cocktail. Now the Bramble was created by the late Dick Bradsall in the mid 80s when he was working at Fred's Club in Soho, London, England. He wanted to come up with an iconically British cocktail. And he thought about the Bramble because when he was younger he used to go and pick blackberries off of Bramble bushes. For those that don't know, the word Bramble comes from the bush of where the blackberries come from, the Bramble bush. Dick Bradsall was a famous bartender from the United Kingdom and he created other classic cocktails such as the Espresso Martini, the Russian Spring Punch, Treacle Number no. 1 and the Summer Breeze, just to name a few. I've done a video on the Summer Breeze, which you can find out up there. If you recognize any of those cocktails, hit that like button and tell me in the comments which cocktail I should focus on next week. Maybe it's one of Dick Bradsall's cocktails or maybe something completely different. As I said, the name Bramble comes from the Bramble Bush and that was part of the inspiration of the cocktail. As I said, Dick wanted to create a truly iconic British cocktail. So he focused on the Bramble and the flavor of blackberries to try and get that into a cocktail. And as Dick said, the Bramble is just a gin sour with some blackberry stuff in it. He even suggested to use Ribena, which is a well-known uh, berry juice drink from the UK instead of creme de mure as a substitute. Now creme de mure is one of the main ingredients of the cocktail but I'm going to show you another substitute that you can use for that instead in case you don't have any creme de mure. Now the bramble is also one of those cocktails that was originally made with crushed ice. Unlike the caipirinha which was originally made with cracked or broken ice, the bramble was meant to be made with crushed ice. Now, if you want to find out more about the Caipirinha, I did a video on that as well. Huh? Videos all over the place. You can go and check that one out as well. Dick Bradsall said that he used the crushed ice directly from the crushed ice machine and said it is an important factor to the cocktail to get some extra dilution to the drink. Otherwise, it can come out a little bit sickly. Spoiler alert, it's not sickly at all. It's absolutely delicious. Stick around because you're going to love it. Right, let's talky talky more drinky makey. Let's get to it. Now with the Bramble, the first thing we need is some crushed ice. And with the magic of editing, we have crushed ice. So as we go through this, I'm gonna show you my little twists which you can add. I'm also gonna leave in the description the, the classic recipe. So if you wanna find out how Dick used to make it, it is in the description. And I'll also leave the recipe for this specific Bramble as well. So to kick off, we wanna get some crushed ice in the glass. Now my crushed ice is almost like snow, but know that when you do use crushed ice, it's gonna dilute more quickly than cubed ice. So it's gonna add a lot more water to the cocktail. So I wanna work fairly quickly when I'm making this cocktail. I wanna start off with a large measure of gin. Now you wanna use a London dry preferably. You don't want any fancy pink flavored gins. You can try and use it if you want to. I recommend a decent London dry will do the job. All right, next we need some freshly squozened, yes, squozened lemon juice. 
Now, it's a shot and a half. Shot and a half. And then, whoosh, we're gonna have half a shot. Normally it's sugar syrup, but I'm using vanilla syrup. Yes. Vanilla syrup. Ooh. I didn't want to completely bastardize the bramble, although some people may be saying you are anyway, but anyway. But I, and I wanted to keep the essence of what the bramble looked like and the general taste. And I wanted that berry flavor to come through. But I do have a, an extra ingredient and that is a little bit of cloudy apple juice. Again, just half a shot of cloudy apple juice is going in there. It just adds a slightly sour taste to the cocktail. It blends with the lemon and with the vanilla really well. Uh, and it's gonna go really well with the berry on top. So we just need to give that a stir. So, you don't have to go too crazy. Done. Mm. Yes. Now, when it comes to garnish, when it comes to using your crushed ice, you wanna dust, dust, okay? You can just dust, 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 dust. You want a, a light, a light splattering of your crushed ice on top. Yes. And now the key ingredient. Now normally you'd use creme de mure, but I'm using the last little bits of my chambord to just drizzle, 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 drizzle. Ooh, 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 ooh. Drizzle that on top, and that's just gonna bring a little bit of extra sweetness for the cocktail. Oh, it's gonna be so good. Right, I'm gonna show you a nice little garnish now. So with your crushed ice, you just want to get a little scoop, little scoop of that, chuck that into your Mexican elbow, like so, and then it's going to turn that over and squash. Mm, yes. Okay. Now from here, now comes the tricky part. Open up, grab a, a toothpick. I'm going to use the upside down end of an umbrella, cocktail umbrella, and you're just going to poke in one of the holes, boop, and it should just drop out, and you end up with a nice, well, ice cup, ice cup, basically. Rest that on your glass like so, and then, now when Dick was garnishing his, his bramble, he actually used raspberries, because that's all he had available at the time, apparently. But I've got raspberries here, I've got blueberries, I've got blackberries. So I'm putting a mixture of everything in there. Sorry, two blackberries, a couple of raspberries, and a few more blueberries. Oh, yes. Just on the side like so. And then, and then for a bit of color and a bit more aroma, we're gonna tuck in a, a mint sprig into the side. Woohoohoohoo! And that is your bramble sexified to the max, and why not, let's get, whoo, boom, a napkin on there as well, yes. Right, the best part of the video, well, at least for me, is the tasting. Now, uh, of course, with this ice sphere, semicircle, whatever you wanna call it, it's gonna melt, it's gonna add more dilution. And I'm gonna use a straw because, I just don't wanna mess that up. Mm. This is why it's a classic, because it's just too friggin' good. Mm. But that is absolutely delicious. Now you have to remember that there's three shots of alcohol in this cocktail. Two shots of gin, one shot of your blackberry, in this case, Chambord liqueur. So it's a very boozy, punchy cocktail. Very gin punchy. So the, the gin really does give you a good old whoosh in the face. I mean, any cocktail that's made with crushed ice is, is generally very, very refreshing. Uh, and this one is no different. Super refreshing. It almost has a, like a, a sour berry candy sort of edge to it because you've got that lemon juice, you've got the vanilla sugar in there and you've got the berry flavor. You've got this sort of sour berry edge. But with the apple coming in the side, you could almost liken it to a lollipop, like an ice lolly. So a sour berry candy ice lolly-esque 
cocktail, that makes sense. <laughs> I've also put together a non-alcoholic version of the Bramble. After Dick mentioned that you could use Ribena on the top of the cocktail, instead of like creme de mure or Chambord, for example. Well, then I thought, why not find a way to make the whole cocktail non-alcoholic? That seems to be quite a trend these days. So I've come up with a non-alcoholic version, which I'm gonna share on my Patreon platform, that all of these, ta-da, legends will get access to. And they've already got access to my Three Minute Thursday series. They always, they got access to the extra cocktail content that I put on there plus the competition giveaways every single month, the live streams every single month, the breakdown chats, where I, I just have a little chit chat to the camera after every shooting session where I share more news or stories from my uh, experience as a bartender over the last 20 years. They also have access to the personal messaging system where they can ask me advice. So a massive thank you, massive thank you, to each and every one of you for all of your continued support. I really do appreciate it. And a big thank you to you for watching all the way until the end. Yeah, we're getting to the end. Oh. Well, thank you so much for, though, for watching all the way until the end of the video. I really do appreciate it. Really give this one a try for yourself. If you haven't tried the Bramble at all, make the classic, then try this one and let me know which you think is best. If you've already got a twist on the Bramble that you like to make, let me know in the comments what that is as well. Mm. And if you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel and switch on those notifications and click that like button so that we can push this video to more cocktail lovers around the world. And once again, thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna go and drink the rest of my cocktail. And until next time, I'll see you then. Let's do that again. Until next time, I'll see you then. Thank <laughs> you.